let's work an annuity problem together. Upon graduation from college, Susana Lopez signed an agreement to buy a used car, and she has payments that she'll make at the end of the year for two years. So we do have an annuity. It's short, but it is still an annuity. And the car dealer used a 12% rate compounded annually to determine that payment amount. What is the value of the car? Well, she bought the car now. So that means they want the present value. So here's your payment, the rate per period compounded annually, 12% annual rate. So that's 12% per period, there are two periods. So we need the table factor associated with the big amount at the beginning, which will be paid down to zero when she completes all the payments. So we need that present value of the annuity table at 12% for two periods. Let's go get that factor. Here's the present value of an annuity table. All right, and we need 12% for two periods, so 1.69005. Here's our formula, pay for annuities. Not for lump sums, for annuities. The payment times the factor gives you the big amount. Well, we're looking for that big amount. And the big amounts at the beginning, so we need the present value of annuity table. We've got that factor. So now we take the payment times the factor, and we get that present value. Payment times the factor. And so this is apparently the value of the car as of the beginning, present. Then they say, what if she wants to make quarterly payments? What would those payments be? Hmm. So the, the value of the car is the 2501, and we don't know the payment. What is the rate per quarter? So the 12% is annually, and we would divide it by four to get the quarterly rate. And then how many periods or payments would there be? Instead of two, there would be four, would be eight, four in each of the years. So when you compound more frequently than annual, you have to reduce the rate per period and increase the number of periods to record the payments each as their own period. All right, let's go back here to our formula. We don't know the payment. We'll look up the factor and we know the big amount. The present value is that 2501. All right, let's see, we need eight periods at 3% using the present value of annuity table. So eight periods at 3%, it looks like we're looking at 7.01969. All right, so we know the factor. So how would we solve here for X? So X times that factor gives you the big amount, so you can divide both sides by the factor and solve for X. So it looks like her payment would be $356 if she did it quarterly instead of annually. All right, let me know if you have any questions.